I'm going to show you how to apply different calculations when aggregating data in Excel pivot tables. So right now I have this table with game level stats from Michael Jordan's career, but what I'm going to do is create a pivot table and aggregate these by season. So let me just grab my fields here. I'm going to drag the season into the rows and I'm going to drag the points into the values pane five times. Let me close out of this and call this season and you'll notice that the aggregation calculation defaults to a sum since points is a numerical field. So the sum of his points by season would be his total points. But if we right click on the next column and go to the summarize values by options we can change this next one to a count which would give us his games played because remember each row in the data represents the points that he scored in one game. Now if we get the average that's going to give us his points per game and if we get the max and the min that's going to give us his best game and his worst game. So just like that, by aggregating a single field by season, we got all of this information from Michael Jordan's career by simply applying different summarized values by options in the pivot table.